my lovely imps, the year of 2024 uh, is a, a beautiful and brand new slate for all of us here in the Demon Mama community, and especially for myself. 2023 had a lot of obstacles and difficulties. Um, there was a lot of stuff that I was dealing with um, with regard to my content, with regard to how I approach my show, with regard to challenges on the YouTube platform itself, and with regard to uh, behind the scenes uh, drama and nonsense that has been roiling for a long time and sort of trying to settle itself out. And essentially all of that has settled itself out at this point. Um, it, it, and that's good to hear, thankfully. Um, and so I've been mentioning that in 2024, one of my goals is to begin a new story arc, so to say, for this channel, which I have been calling the Grand Gardener Arc. And I hope you all will embark on this arc with me um, because I have a vision for what I want to accomplish with this arc. The, obviously, for most people who are watching my show, um, you are probably, in all likelihood, some flavor of left-leaning person, okay? Um, you might be very far left, you might be mildly left. Most people who watch my show are some flavor of lefty. Um, the online left has been in a very strange place for some time. Um, and I've talked about this on various, you know, occasions, uh, but it's just a simple fact that um, many of the previously existing projects, uh, associations, communities, um, and spaces, you could call them. Wait, did I already say that? I might have already said that. Whatever. Spaces um, have essentially burned down. What we have left is a whole bunch of ash and some identifiable but devastated ruins, okay? Um, we have some, oh man, I remember what that used to be. Oh shit, I remember what used to be over here and there's some like collapsed walls remaining. Um, but there has been like a series of major incidents that in my opinion has essentially completely demolished any remaining functioning, um, you know, online left, in, at least in this corner. There are a whole bunch of individual communities uh, that are sort of loosely associated with the left that still exist, but there is not a whole lot of interplay. There is not a whole lot of flow. And um, I think we have a devastated ecosystem a truly devastated ecosystem. And I want to change that. I want to begin changing that. And I think that in order to do that, we have to begin planting. Hence, the Grand Gardener Arc. Uh, I want us to begin to build flows. I want us to begin to build spaces that are starting to thrive again. Now, obviously, there are plenty of sort of individual places that are doing just fine. Um, but there's not a lot of interplay between them. There's not a lot of flow between them. There's not a lot of discussion between them. Um, there's a lot of bad blood that still remains um, between a lot of places. And some of that will never be fixed. And honestly, I don't really care. Um, what I'm going to try and build is I am going to try and instill a, a organic sense of thriving. In, 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 starting in my corner of the internet and hopefully flowing outwards. Um, and in order to do that, I think that there has to be some genuine evolution, um, some of which I believe I have already personally undertaken, but I also think that it's going to require audiences and individual members of these online, uh, you know, the remains of these online spaces to be willing to engage in that type of thing as well. Um, I also think that it is, as a part of this, I think it's vital that uh, those of us online left-leaning folks learn how to connect with each other outside of the places that we used to do so. Twitter is one um, that I've talked about a lot, um, especially last year. I talked about Twitter a whole bunch. Um, like it or not, Twitter was... 
um, incredibly, incredibly effective at connecting left-leaning people. Um, and of course, it also was incredibly good at ultimately dividing left-leaning people because the platform itself was uh, uh, was not ours. It was not anyone anyone's really, and it was it it, it was built on a foundation of promoting certain types of behaviors that are very toxic. And it basically trained people to behave in a very specific toxic way. It promoted um, all these types of behaviors that I think ultimately led to the downfall of many, many different spaces. Um, but the fact of the matter was that it was at one point a place where left-leaning people could find each other with relative ease. They could find each other, they could promote their stuff, and as time went on, those abilities disappeared. Um, some of you who've been watching me for a long time will remember me talking about um, when Twitter actually implemented uh, link suppression, where it used to be, I know it's hard to believe, but it used to be that if you shared a link to media on Twitter, that was actually considered good in the algorithm. They wanted you to be sharing your media links onto Twitter because Twitter saw itself as a place where you could communicate and promote yourself. That was what they thought. They were like, this is what we want Twitter to be. Twitter changed its mind and became insular over time. And it actually started actively de-boosting links, which means that back when I first started with my channel, I could post my stream announcement on Twitter and new people would come to my show through that Twitter link. I would grow by promoting myself on Twitter. There was a reason for me to spend time on there, to talk about things on there, to promote my links on there. But you can't do that anymore. It is just not viable. Um, and because of that, um, Twitter has lost, um, like it started to suffocate. Um, and so we just have to accept that, like, I mean, I already have accepted this, but many other people need to accept that that's the fact. You're not going to find new stuff. You are only going to find stagnation on a website that actively suppresses the ability to find new things and promote new things. Um, yeah, it's, uh, uh, yeah, yes, Tyrannax points out this is something that was going on before Elon took over. Absolutely, it's only gotten worse under Elon, but it ha it actually did start before Elon took over. There was a trend that it was going. So one of the things that I am going to be trying to work on this year, and I'm hoping that um, my lovely community will help me with, is where do we start to establish flows? Where do we start to establish communication between different communities? Where can new people discover me? Where can I discover new people? What's the best way to do that? You guys know we do this very manually sometimes. For example, um, many of you will recall um, when I reacted to uh, Catherine, um, uh, Catherine's bread tube video, or when I reacted to My Life Outdoors uh, video about finding quiet places in America and how hard it is because of noise pollution. Um, both of those created flows. Um, the, the creators saw our community. They watched our video. Some of their fans may have watched our video and we went and interacted with their video and a flow was created. There was people connecting with each other, finding new people and talking with each other. Now, um, oh, or that, day, that, that dang dad's video. That's another good example. Um, and I would like to, to ramp that up. Um, and I'm specifically interested in how we can do this with the communities, okay? More so even than between creators. Because, you know, I mean, that's part of it, obviously. Being able to do collaborations between creators, uh, being able to have creators connect with one another and talk with one another is valuable. But more than that, I think the communities need to be able to talk with one another and they need to be able to uh, uh, share ideas and, uh, and share hype and promote one another. Um, one of the downsides of the amount of like uh, left-leaning content online having fallen into basically perpetual drama farming as a result of what is incentivized on YouTube, tw Twitter, etc., and Twitch, um, is that um, there is an incredible amount of bad blood between communities. 
not just creators. Bad blood is going to happen between individuals, and there's not much you can do about that. But there's bad blood between communities. Um, and it's, a, it's suffocating. It's actually terrible for the, uh, the general ecosystem. Um, people don't know how to find new stuff. They don't know how to meet new people. Um, and it's really, really bad uh, if you want to drill down into what's most important to me, which is like, how do trans people find other trans people safely on the internet? How do gay people find other gay people safely on the internet? How do marginalized people find other marginalized people safely on the internet? And the reality is, it's harder than ever. Which is great. Well, maybe not than ever, but it's harder than any time in the internet era. We had this like period where it became very easy and nice, and then it sort of went down from there. Oh my goodness, sushi, that's wonderful. Uh, but um, I would like to begin changing that. Um, and I don't have all the answers. I don't have it all figured out yet. Um, but uh, uh, figuring out how to begin this process is very, very, very uh, important to me. Um, and I think that some of it is going to require certain types of sacrifices. In fact, I know that it has. Um, and yet, the sacrifice is often illusory. Last year, um, I, my streams, I did not hit the max, the largest stream I've ever had last year. Believe it or not. My channel grew more than it ever has last year. But I did not have the biggest stream that I've ever had last year. The biggest stream I ever had was in the middle of me being embroiled in a, a horrible drama, and it was a bunch of drama frogs who were hostile to me flooding in just to see if they could, uh, you know, farm my channel for clips. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Um, so there's an illusory element to uh, playing into what appears to be the meta. Um, and... Uh, a lot of people who are viewers are not going to understand how difficult it is to intentionally publish things that aren't as immediately popular with your audience. Um, they they were, are not going to understand what it feels like to, to do a stream where you get less viewers than your average on a platform that is perpetually encouraging you to always get more viewers every single day. Um, but that... Uh, that is our role as creators to choose the correct path, to be wise enough to recognize um, when it is important to change, when it is important to disengage from certain cycles. Um, and that is something that, that I have been doing aggressively in 2023, and I've still succeeded regardless. I'm going to do more of it in 2024. And those of you who are listening right now should be excited. And you should be ready to open your minds to creators that you like trying new things because it will make you have a better time. Um, the more that we can get away from the current meta of basically po politics streamers transforming into drama streamers, transforming into burnouts, transforming into, uh, uh, you know, uh, bitter, um, uh, bitter and or um, hateful people. Um, the better the space will become. Uh, I remember a time when there was a lot of excitement. There was a lot of flow between communities. People were constantly shouting each other out. They were constantly doing fun things with each other. The communities had a lot of interplay and there was a lot of liveliness. And I think that we can get something better than that because I think in the past, it was still vulnerable to a lot of um, current things. To, to a lot, Sorry, not current things. To a lot of the things that I have just discussed. Um... Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Um, there's also, um, there's also just the fact that I think that there are, uh, there's been a, a huge change in social media generally, and that a lot of people who were able to basically, uh, participate in social media as a form of marketing are going to have to change their tactics. Uh, I know that I am. I don't really know how to do that yet. Um, I don't know. Uh, uh, I don't know what ways. Like in the past, I would just have fun posting on Twitter, 
and have it be loosely relevant to my show, and it would be good for my show. My show would grow as a result of me just more or less trying to have fun on Twitter. But that's literally not possible anymore. And most of the platforms have moved to, to insular models, which is very difficult to deal with. Uh, and I don't know what the answer is yet. I haven't figured it out. Um, uh, marketing is one of the hardest and most important aspects of uh, being a streamer. You have to be able to get your videos out there. Um, and I think part of that is going to be communities changing, which is one of the things I'm going to be encouraging my community to do. Uh, I am going to be encouraging my community to change the way that it approaches content, uh, to rely less on pure algorithmic recommendation, and to start sharing things with one another. Um, it's actually, re word of mouth is still the most single most important way uh of of growing anything so you guys know that i have a i i have a very regularly go and check out my recommendations channel on my discord that the recommendations channel is very lively i often watch things that are in there on stream uh and i want to see more of that i want to see audiences get uh, more open about discussing the cool things that they've discovered. Um, and I think it will be very good. And I'm going to at least do my part. The imps are already really good about it. You guys are like, like I already praise you all all the time because I'm very proud of my community. I think we have a very, th uh, strong and thriving community, but I would like to see, uh, I would like to see us get even better. And I would like to hopefully see other communities adopt this. One thing that I've noticed, I, I, uh, I still watch a lot of other streamers um, uh, and other video uh, makers on YouTube. Uh, it's something that I consider important to being a streamer. Like, you know, kind of like how a writer needs to read lots of books. I still spend a lot of time. But I've noticed that a lot of communities have become very, very negative and uh, hostile, uh, even to their respective creators, which is very weird to me. Um, I see this to be, this is something I hear other creators talk about a lot, that there is just an incredible amount of, uh, of inter-community negativity. And I find that very strange, and I wonder where that comes from. Um, I mean, I think I have some ideas, you know, some of them I've already talked about here. The drama farming thing builds a lot of bad blood, and it also encourages hate watching. But I think that it's gotten very strange. Um... And uh, I, I would really like it if our community never becomes like that. I do not want my community to end up being a community of, uh, of people who uh, are here to hate watch. That is not what I want to encourage ever. Um, yeah. Winby says, Vosh's audience has been ruthless lately more than usual. It's funny that you should say that because you are not even close to the first person who's noticed it. Um, it has been outrageous in fact doe mentioned it to me the other day doe mentioned uh seeing being like man uh vosh's audience has been mean and I, I don't know i don't know where it comes from it's weird um there's just so much i've been thinking about lately um and one of those things is that i am very very proud of the community that we've built here uh, I think that some of our some of some things have encouraged an even better community. The call-in streams, the, our signal nights, as we call them, uh, you know, where you can hear the signal. Our signal nights have been ridiculously successful, um, and I think that it encourages a lot of um, community engagement. I think that people tend to react very positively. They tend to uh, get to hear the voices of other members in the community. And I, 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 we're going to be doing, we, we have one coming up at the end of this month. We're going to be doing a big signal signal night at the end of this month. Um, and we intend to continue doing them fairly regularly um, as a structured thing. Um, last year, I spent, I've said this a, b a bunch lately, so pardon me if you're one of my regular viewers who's heard me say this a lot. Last year... Uh, there was a lot of stuff that was making me feel weird about streaming. Um, and this year, I want to make progress. I want to, I want to have more confidence this year. Because uh, looking back at last year, as hard as it was, I still succeeded. I, and I'm okay with saying that. I'm proud of what I did last year. 
uh, even through even with everything, even with all of the nonsense that happened, even with all of the crazy stuff, even taking a month off to go do a road trip across the country, I still did great last year. So I think this year can be even better. And uh, I hope you all will join me for this new and exciting arc. Uh, it really is going to be very different than it has been in the past. Some of the things that you know and love will, will always be around. Obviously, I'm still here. But other aspects are going to change, and I hope that you will be excited for that with me. Anyway, uh, I don't know if this is going to go up as a video, but if it does, make sure that you press like and subscribe down below. I would love to have you as one of my imps, and the only way you can do that is by pressing subscribe on my videos. So make sure you press that subscribe, ring that bell, and thank you so much for hearing the signal.